CAT scan stands for positron emission tomography. It is a nuclear medicine procedure that measures metabolic activity of cell of body tissue. PET scanning utilizes radioactive tracer called fluorodeoxyglucose, which is injected into body intravenously. FDG is a glucose analog in which oxygen molecule in position 2 is replaced by positron emitting fluorine 18 and it undergoes the same uptake as glucose within cell but since cancer cells are more metabolically active than normal cells therefore more FDG get accumulated within the cancer cell as they are glucose hungry. Inside cell FDG converted into 6 phosphate FDG by hexokinase and get trapped within cell. Now trapped fluorine 18 being an isotope have an excess of protons and are therefore unstable. They decay by emission of positron which is a subatomic positively charged antiparticle of electron. The positron release in the process has kinetic energy and travels a very short distance and then collides with electron and annihilate. This annihilation creates two photons of 511 kilo electron volt mean gamma rays emitted exactly in 180 degree opposite direction. Because they are being emitted in an opposite direction, this leads to another specific phenomena which is seen only in PET scan that is called coincidence imaging. So what is coincidence imaging? Let's have a look. Coincident imaging based on coincident event. When patient moved into PET scanner, the scanner then detects the annihilation photons which arrive at the detectors in a coincidence at 180 degree apart from each other. A computer then analyzes those coincident gamma rays and uses the information to create image map of an organ or tissues being examined. The amount of radio tracer collected in the tissue affects how brightly the tissue appears on the images and indicates the level of organ or tissue function.